Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll talk about delisted shares. All of us would have got the recent news of uh, BCG shares getting uh, uh, delisted in the stock market. So in this video, we'll cover what a delisting means and for what reason a stock gets delisted in the stock market and when exactly is this delisting will be removed from SEBI and uh, how to trade in these kind of stocks. So Brightchrome is a very recently stock which got delisted in your stock market. So this was a stock uh, back uh, during the COVID rally in 2021. It rallied from 5 rupees. It went until like 122 rupees. So that was like after your uh, um, the adjusted values uh, post your rally, they were giving up bonuses. So it went till 122 and from there the fall started. So uh, it, it started becoming like a uh, trading circuit kind of a stock it went either upper circuit or a lower circuit it started uh, declining in 2022 uh, there was like a consecutive uh, fall for almost 13 days and the stock completely uh, lost its charm in the market and it went automatically to down and people started uh, selling the shares and then further it so happened that like uh, a situation arise when people were not even able to sell this uh, share in the market and uh, SEBI has uh, recently delisted this share by the end of uh, last month and uh, we'll see in this video a detailed analysis of what exactly this delisting means and uh, how does it impact one's uh, share and uh, how to uh, escape or how to sell these kind of shares which got uh, stuck in the stock market. The first thing that we're going to see here is about uh, delisting. So what exactly is this delisting? So the delisting of shares is nothing but uh, the company gets removed from your stock exchange from your NSE as well as your BSE which means that you can no longer buy the shares from your uh, Bombay Stock Exchange or from your National Stock Exchange. So this is all controlled or taken care by your SEBI. The SEBI will take care of all of these. That is your delisting of shares. And this delisting could be of uh, two types. So this is going to be an uh, involuntary delisting where a regulatory authority uh, orders the company to do this. In this example, SEBI will tell uh, the company to get delisted from the market. So the reason could be is like there's they find some kind of inconsistency in their trading or if they fail to meet the exchange's requirement, so that will be taken care or if the company is under a terrible financial loss, that will be also taken care. The second type what we have is your voluntary delisting when the company normally decides to get delisted from the stock market due to change in the management team and stuff. So these are the two types of methods or ways in which a stock could get delisted. The third thing what we're going to see is going to be like uh, what happens when you get uh, delisted. So what exactly happens when your stock gets delisted, the uh, shares get delisted in the market. So if you own any share, say for example BCG in this case, I'm giving it just as an example. Uh, when your share gets delisted in the stock market, you can't sell them, neither uh, you can sell in NSE or in BSE. So this could be a, a voluntary delisting could be also as like possible when a company automatically delists and at that times we have something called as a reverse book building. So at that time the company may automatically buy back the shares from the users for a specific premium. So the shareholders can sell the shares to the company automatically or you can also trade for uh, in your grey market as well. So we call them as the OTC market but the only difficulty there is it will be very difficult for you to buy a buyer in that kind of a scenario. But selling early when the company is automatically giving up your uh, uh, buyback policy is a wise way to do it. And uh, the next question that comes to your mind is can these delisted shares be relisted in the stock market? The answer is like very simple, yes, this is very much possible. The SEBI permits, if all their regulatory rules and guidelines are followed, they will automatically get relisted into the stock market. So that's possible as well. And the relisting of uh, stock will happen only after five years. There's a wait period of five years and only then it will get relisted in the stock market. What we have is your uh, compulsory delisting. So in this compulsory delisting, what happens is like uh, you have to wait for a 10 years period of time and only then you'll be able to again get listed in the stock market. So the list of uh, delisted stocks can be all found in your BSC and NSE websites and you'll be able to see the time from when they can be traded as well. The next question that comes to your mind is how do you sell these kind of delisted shares? So these delisted shares can be like found on uh, your NSE and BSE websites and what exactly you could do is like within one year after uh, the company is like delisted you can go to your RTA agent which is nothing but your registering of your uh, shares. You can go to them and you can approach them offline. That's one way of doing it. The next method is like uh, trying to find out a promoter within the company who will be able to buy these shares from you 
or uh, you can uh, try going to like with any hope in mind that someday the company will automatically change them you can reach out to your uh, dp provider your uh, demand provider and ask them for a physical form of the shares and you can automatically have these as your uh, physical paper kind of thing that's also possible so that's the only way you will be able to retain them so in all these kind of uh, mergers and stuff the company will be in a easier way to buy back that's the only easiest way to do it and um, in this case of uh, bcg the company has automatically been like a uh, delisted from there and the company has been given up a 15 days of wait period of time and after which uh, uh, NSE and BSE will again start trading them and this share will be automatically put into your uh, Z category which means uh, this share will be available to trade to the public only on the first day of the week. On the, all the other days of the week there will be only uh, settlements happening on this uh, share and uh, you will not be able to uh, do intraday trading on this neither you will be able to do any kind of trading activities on them. You, if you are like uh, committed in buying them then you need to take position of this share that's the only possible way in this. And SEBI will be like um, uh, evaluating the shares performance and stuff and then like uh, if they find they all to be like uh, satisfactory then they'll be again moved from the uh, Z listing to the mainstream uh, listing into the stock market. So this is the different types of things or the things which actually happens in the stock market when a share gets delisted. If you like this video do share it with your friends and uh, if you like contents like this do subscribe to this channel as well and I'll catch you up in the next one. Thank you.